Well, Georgian wine isn't the only product that's making a splash abroad. The country's food is increasingly becoming the it cuisine in some of the biggest U.S. cities. Tracy Tandon has this report from New York. Chef and owner of Oda House, Maya Aquaviva, is making me one of Georgia's most popular dish, kachapuri. The pizza-like dish has plenty of cheese, butter, and in some versions, even an egg. She says it's a crowd pleaser. A former plastic surgeon, Maya left medicine in Georgia to open Oda House in New York three years ago. When I decided to open this Oda House in a city, everyone was against me. Everyone, all my family, all my friends, they say people even don't know where it's Georgia. Maya's gamble paid off. The restaurant is so successful, she recently opened a second location in New Jersey. Introducing traditional Georgian foods like chakapuli and kinkali to Western palates. When Maya opened Oda House, there were only two Georgian restaurants in New York. Last year, five new Georgian restaurants opened here. But it's not just the food that's gaining momentum. Georgian wine is also taking off. Traditionally drunk from a horn-like contraption called kansi, Georgian wines are as natural as they come. There is almost a religious belief that God gave the grape, everything it need to make wine in a perfectly natural way. So the idea of adding too much sulfur, the idea of not using native yeast for fermentation, or the idea of shaping the wine to please the public as opposed to doing the best that nature gave you is kind of alien to many people. And that is what, it's nothing added, nothing taking away, doing the best you can with nature. There are more than 400 indigenous grape varieties in Georgia. Last year, the country exported almost 30,000 bottles of wine to over 40 countries around the world, including France, Russia, China, and the U.S. If the success of Georgian wine and its pizza-like dish, kachapuri, is any indication, well, then Georgian cuisine may be the next big thing to hit the U.S. culinary scene. I think after all these years of very over-oaked, over-manipulated wines, that don't really have a sense of place. All of a sudden there comes, I suppose, in an innocence, um, an, an innocence, a freshness, a difference. And you may not know where the place is, but you know there is, these wines have a sense of place. Maya's motto, much like the country's food and wine, is to keep it fresh and natural. She doesn't use a freezer or fry her food. I saw your um, face when you're happy uh, to eat my food. I'm more happy to see how happy you are. Although Maya says she sometimes misses being a doctor, she's found transferable skills in being a chef. Before I have a uniform, I still have a uniform. Before I have a, a scalpel, now I have a chef knife. Before I was cutting people, now I am cutting four people. What's changed? Just four. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Tracy Tandon, CCTV, New York. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.